Southeast Asia is particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Every year, the region faces more extreme weather events that affect millions of people. It is also one of the world's most dynamic regions, and as the populations and economies grow, so does the demand for green, resilient and sustainable infrastructure. But governments cannot finance all the necessary projects on their own. Support from more sources, both public and private, is necessary to accelerate this green transition. As we recognise in ADB, the battle for climate change will be won or lost in the Asia-Pacific. And in that battle, the decisive front is Southeast Asia. ASEAN countries alone need well over 200 billion US dollars of infrastructure investment every year to keep up with the rapid urbanisation and industrialisation of the region. And all of that investment across every sector must mitigate or adapt to climate change if we are to have any chance in this battle. Bringing these projects to life requires innovative thinking, more sources of catalytic financing and strong partnerships. And this is where the ASEAN Catalytic Green Finance Facility is helping to show the way. The ASEAN Catalytic Green Finance Facility, or the ACGF, was founded in 2019 by the Asian Development Bank and ASEAN governments linked to the ASEAN Infrastructure Fund. At the ACGF, we support the development of landmark green infrastructure projects across Southeast Asia by using innovative financing to catalyse funds from public and private sources. We also mobilise expertise to help create sustainable and bankable infrastructure projects. The ACGF supports government-led projects which are green, bankable and able to mobilise capital from all sources, including private capital. We also offer capacity development for government officials, as well as technical support for developing early project concepts so that they can qualify for funding. This combination of concepts, technical assistance, knowledge and financing from ADB and partners makes ACGF a one-stop shop for catalyzing green infrastructure projects in the ASEAN region. In Indonesia, Cambodia and the Philippines, for example, we are supporting climate-related policy reforms and transformative green infrastructure projects in energy, transport, agriculture and natural resources. In Cambodia, we are helping to restore mangroves and enabling small and medium-sized businesses in the fisheries sector to adopt sustainable practices. And in Thailand, we are supporting a number of ministries in issuing sustainability-linked bonds to help fund the green transition. Our region is blessed with natural beauty, but faces with the urgent environmental issue, including climate change, deforestation, and air pollution. Green finance and infrastructure are vital, protecting our environment and boosting our economy, with benefits like job creation, innovation, and investment in sustainable projects, ensuring long-term stability and prosperity. Green finance is not merely an option, it's is an imperative. The ACGS play a key role in this transformation, speeding up the transition toward the sustainability. Since 2019, we have brought together financing, knowledge and skills from some of the world's leading development organisations. Infrastructure and finance are at the heart of the region's economic recovery. and These feature in most of the stimulus packages in the region. Making these green and resilient strengthens both climate and socioeconomic resilience of affected communities in the region. I believe that the ACGF will pave the way for a green recovery in Southeast Asia by integrating international standards for climate impact and by developing and investing in resilient and low carbon projects. By now, we have become ASEAN's most prominent platform in mobilizing ideas, capital and partnerships to drive green infrastructure. To learn more about the ACGF, our projects and initiatives, and how we can help, go to adb.org forward slash ACGF or scan this QR code.